Today we're going to talk about the German national anthem. This is the cause of some argument and I keep getting comments from people who continue to insist that I have completely the wrong idea. So let's put a few things straight. In a previous video I mentioned that the German national anthem was only the third stanza of the famous poem that begins Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. But people keep telling me that in fact the whole poem is officially the national anthem. It's just that conventionally only the third stanza is sung. Well that was the case between 1952 and 1991 but it no longer is. After the Second World War, the new Federal Republic of Germany didn't have an official national anthem and this caused problems at official state visits and international sporting events. Bands would play whatever music they found that they thought sounded German. One of the favourites was a song that actually criticised the occupying powers of West Germany. It was written for the Cologne Carnival and was played at a cycle race to honour the winner who happened to be from Cologne. At that point, Allied military personnel present assumed it must be the national anthem anthem and so stood and saluted. After that it was played at several sporting events in other countries much to the embarrassment of the German Chancellor. Eventually in 1952 the Chancellor Konrad Adenauer and the President Theodor Heuss between them effectively decreed that the entire poem Deutschland Deutschland über alles was officially the national anthem but that at official ceremonies only the third stanza would be sung. That was fine until the question of the national anthem arose again this time following the political reunification of Germany. East Germany had, of course, had its own anthem, so should the newly reunified Germany have a completely new anthem or, for example, sing one stanza from each of the old anthems? In the end it was decided that the old West German national anthem should be retained and in 1991 this was officially decreed by Chancellor Helmut Kohl and President Richard von Weizsäcker. But this time they explicitly stated that the official national anthem was only the third stanza Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit. The other two stanzas are now officially no longer part of the national anthem. This cleared up a small problem. In 1990 the Constitutional Court had ruled that although the entire poem was officially the national anthem, only the third stanza enjoyed legal protection as a national symbol and so only the third stanza was protected against denigration. The 1991 decree basically resolves this little anomaly. So now let us enjoy the German national anthem. Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit Remember, you can always send me a postcard at this address. You can also find me elsewhere on the web. Visit rubos.com to find out how.